Yo, yo, broskies and broskets, welcome to Friday's bullshit. It's crazy how most of the bullshits actually fall on a Friday. This massive motherfucker had a big ass hole in it and was completely corroded. For those that don't know, this is a hot water storage tank, which basically does what the name says. So I'll do some research for a replacement and see that the same model was actually no longer made. That sounded crazy to me because this building is not even that old. It's probably like 10 to 15 years old at most. But I guess it made sense that they discontinued it if it's failing and corroding just for doing its job. Anyways, I found another very similar A.O. Smith tank so I get my supply to order it so they can deliver it for me at the job site and so they can make a quick buck off of it because we have to keep everybody happy in this business. It's important because it helps make sure that things go generally smooth. It was until the unit got delivered in the warehouse though that I realized that that shit would not fit through the doors to the mechanical room. That bitch was 650 pounds standing at 6 foot 7 and was 38 inches wide bro. In other words a massively ginormous motherfucking tank. Probably a little bigger than a Mini Cooper. It might have been my mistake that I didn't check the dimensions before ordering it. But then again you can't really fully blame me when the old unit looked just as big and was somehow put inside right? I don't fucking know bro but I was in a serious pickle because I had already scheduled a date with the building and there was no way that I could make it. Also I had to tell the supply that they have to return it which put me in a weird position because there was a possibility that the seller would not allow the return. Thankfully they did allow it though but they charged my ass $150 to return it. So that was sorted but the main issue was still not resolved. The building's board were prepared for a replacement and I had none. So I had to come up with a reasonable solution. I couldn't just put a smaller tank without having to prove that it would be enough because that would probably be a future lawsuit. So I had to hire an engineer to do the math and some calculations for me basically to see if a smaller storage tank was fine to use and it certainly was. So I present that to the building broskies. They liked it and accepted it so we installed this smaller guy instead. Apparently my engineer was very convincing because the building is considering a replacement of the secondary tank so I'm pretty sure that we'll be back soon enough to change that one as well. Anyways we make all of the connections using 2 inch copper piping and fittings. Once everything was put together and soldered we clean up the excess flux from the pipes. We also install the relief valve as a safety on a new tank and a gauge to check the temperature. The supply clerk had given us the wrong gauge because it was a 50 psi gauge but here we have at least 70 psi of pressure so the gauge looked weird once installed and the water was turned on. But anyways we were only concerned for the temperature here and the range on the gauge was perfect so we left it there. We also insulated the pipes here but that's not really our strong suit. We may be good plumbers but when it comes to insulation we're okay I guess. But you can be the judge of that in the comments below so please go easy on us broskies and broskets. Actually you might not be able to fully judge us because the installation was not completed on Friday. Apparently we didn't buy enough so we had to come back on Monday to complete Friday's bullshit. 